House Osgrey of Steadfast, and formerly of Coldnote, is a once noble house from Steadfast in the Reach. They are sworn to House Rowan, with their current lands bordering those of House Weber and House Stackhouse. Despite their storied history and pride of their ancestry, the Osgreys have not been lords in centuries now being nothing but landed knights, and ones of low fortune at that, though they had once been counted amongst the greatest houses of the Reach, both in terms of their political power and history. Their traditional heraldry is a checky lion green and gold on a white field, and as of a dance with dragons. Their motto has not yet appeared. In terms of their position in the world of ice and fire, they mostly play a huge role in the second Duncan Egg short story, The Swan Sword. It is documented in the Citadel of Old Town that House Osgrey was established at least a thousand years before Aegon's conquest. However, some maesters speculate their history could date back further than this, but if this is the case, there is no record left anywhere of it. The family used to be marshals of the North March under House Gardner, the former kings of the Reach, and enjoyed much prestige and position during the Gardner era. At that time, they possessed four castles and were receiving fealty by a score of lesser lordlings and at least a hundred landed knights. Their largest and most well-known castle was Coldmote, which was raised by Lord Perwin Osgrey. The Osgreys were a prominent family who intermarried with great families within the Reach and also much further afield, including houses such as the Florence, the Swans, the Tarbacks, the High Towers, and the Blackwoods. On one occasion, an Osgrey, Sir Wilbert, the Little Lion, killed Lancel IV, King of the Rock, but then later died of his injuries, but he thereby repelled an invasion of the Reach. After the last Gardener King was killed on the Field of Fire, and Aegon the Conqueror had raised House Tyrell to Lords Paramount of the Reach, House Osgrey's prominence began to diminish over time. It was a slow but persistent, steady decline. During the reign of Maegor the Cruel, Lord Ormond Osgrey lost their main holding of Coldmote when he spoke out against King Maegor the Cruel for his suppression of the poor fellows and the warriors' sons during the Faith Uprisings. House Osgrey were among a slew of large and minor houses to have lands and titles stripped from them during the reign of Maegor. It was also during this time that House Osgrey had at least one cadet branch at Leafy Lake, but by 210 AC they seemed to have become extinct. Adam Osgrey, the son of the last Lord Osgrey, Lord Eustace of Steadfast, served at Coldmote as a page and a squire for House Weber, who were awarded the castle and its attached lands after they were stripped from House Osgrey. So Eustace Osgrey once visited Coldmote to suggest a marriage between his son Adam and Rowan Weber, the daughter of Wyman Weber, who was at the time the current Lord Weber. But the Lord of Coldmote refused Eustace and given House Osgrey's now low standing. In return for House Osgrey's support in the first Blackfire Rebellion of 196 AC, Damon the First Blackfire promised to restore Coldmote and all its attached lands to Eustace, should the rebellion prevail. But as any scholar of history knows, the first Blackfire Rebellion ended with the death of Damon Blackfire in the Battle of the Red Grass Field. Adam Osgrey would also lose his life fighting in the battle, along with his two brothers, something that would deeply haunt his father, Sir Eustace. After the defeat in the Battle of the Red Grass Field, Eustace was forgiven by King Daron II Targaryen, but his daughter Alessand was taken to King's Landing as a hostage to ensure House Osgrey's loyalty. His wife would later commit suicide after the loss of all of their children. This ultimately made Eustace the last of his line, meaning House Osgrey. This old and proud house would die with him, a fate and punishment any lord would fear. House Osgrey once had four castles in total, whilst the greatest of which was Coldmote. They held lands from Nunny to Cobble Cover and controlled towns like Dosk, Little Dosk and Brandybottom. As well as the caves at Daring Downs, they also held both sides of Leafy Lake and the Horseshoe Hills. At the time of the Duck and Egg adventure, the Sworn Sword, in 210 AC, the family had only one castle left, Stanfast, a small and run-down castle that's fit for a landed knight, not a former lord. During 210 AC, Sir Eustace entered into a conflict with his neighbour, Lady Rowan Weber, the head of House Weber, over the rights to the border stream, the Checky Water. The Checky Water was vital to the water supply of the small folk living on Osgrey land, along as supplying Steadfast itself. Lady Rowan had dammed the water further upstream in order to irrigate her lands and crops, as well as supply water to her moat. 
This new conflict was decided by a trial by battle, in which the champion of House Osgrave, Sir Duncan the Tall, who would later be counted amongst the finest Lord Commanders of the Kingsguard Westeros ever saw, defeated Lucas Itchfield, the champion of Lady Webber, in single combat. By all accounts, it was a duel for the ages and a close-run affair. After the fight, Rowan and Eustace reconciled, and as a way to end their water dispute, Rowan married Eustace, with him becoming Lord of Coldmoat once again. But it is not known if he became the ruling lord, or only a consort to Lady Rowan. Thus, the lands that were under the domain of House Weber may or may not have been restored to House Osgrey. But regardless, Rowan and Eustace would have no children, with Eustace dying sometime before 219 AC, and Rowan later going on to marry Gerald Lannister. <laughs>